These here are contact lenses, they're monthly contact lenses. And today in this video, I want to find out why it's important to change those contact lenses on a regular basis. Hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here. Yes, you can see me now putting a contact lens under the microscope because I would like to see how are old contact lenses different from new ones. And maybe this helps us to answer the question why it's important to change them uh, on a regular basis. Now, I've been wearing those contact lenses now for approximately one month and uh, it's now time to change them again. And for this reason, I was given a pack um, of contact lenses that last me for several months. The old contact lenses here, I wanted to put on the microscope slide and I had to cut them to make sure that they're all flat. So I'm carefully using some scissors and I'm cutting some notches into the slide to make sure that they're flat on the microscope slide. And then under the microscope, I was able to discover something relatively interesting. But first we have to, of course, put a cover glass on top and then under the microscope, this is what I saw. You have to look a little bit carefully, but you're going to see a lot of grime and yeah, dirt and also some cells, a few ear bubbles. I'm not so worried about those, but all of the grime here that you can see on the old contact lenses are actually, a, yeah, I think uh, also a place where bacteria can grow and multiply. Maybe there are also some salt deposits. After all, tears are quite salty. And the round line that you see here, this is not an edge of, of the contact lens. Yeah, I was able to find uh, quite a few places that have a very strong accumulation of those deposits. And even though I wash them every day, I was not able to remove all of the dirt. For example, this one here is a dust fiber. Yeah, I have to put, of course, always a disinfectant on top of them. But still, um, yeah, over time, over the weeks, there seems to be some kind of a deposit uh, built on. And this basically means that I have to then change uh, the contact uh, lenses. And I think that's one of the reasons why it's important uh, to change them frequently. Now, this is quite interesting here. This is what I found as well. Look, there was a tiny microscopic logo printed uh, on the contact lens as well. And also the number three. I don't know what that means, but it is not, uh, does not signify the diopters that I have. Here, I'm now adding a little bit of methylene blue stain. Here, this uh, thing that you see here, this is basically where I cut the contact lens uh, with my scissors. But uh, you might also see some darker dots. And these are all cells and proteins. And here, this here is a, a nice cell uh, with the nucleus in the center. So evidently, the contact lens, uh, when I removed it, I took along some of the epithelial cells of my eyes as well, which you see here. But the next thing here, that is really interesting. Do you see those two round cells here uh, with the three nuclei in each one of them? They look remarkably similar to white blood cells. I cannot believe this. What in the world are white blood cells doing on my eye? And I found quite a few of them. I don't have an eye infection, but maybe those white blood cells are there naturally to fight off bacteria. Maybe it's a form of protection against infection. I don't know. But uh, in any case, if you are interested in watching those uh, white blood cells from blood, at the end of the video, I'm going to put a link uh, uh, to a video where you can actually see the white blood cells in my blood and then you can compare them. Yeah, so how does a new contact lens look like? Okay, this here was an air bubble. Um, yeah, I've uh, taken it out and carefully put it uh, on a microscope slide and I wanted to now compare um, and see if it looks cleaner. And this is what I got. Look at this. I mean, this is even worse. What in the world's going on? These are all cells. I mean, I just took it out uh, from, yeah, from a freshly opened package and, and it looks dirty. So I was really confused at the beginning, but then <laughs> look and watch carefully what I've done. I actually took it out with my fingers. And what happened is, is that uh, I was transferring without knowing it, some of my skin cells to the contact lens. So these are actually all cells that actually came off uh, from my finger. So you have to take it out carefully with some tweezers here without damaging the cell at all. Uh, not the cell, <laughs> the contact lens at all. And uh, then um, under the microscope, I was able to see again the logo, but notice how clean everything is. No cells, no grime, no deposits. And this is now the reason why it's important to change the contact lenses because old contact lenses will start to become dirty. And maybe this also increases the chance of an eye infection. So if you're now interested in watching the video where I show you the white blood cells from my blood, here it is. But uh, I hope uh, that this video was interesting for you. I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye bye.